Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, to the 144,000 rest of your left out there, Shalom to you all. Yeah, just getting, just getting up. I've been up about about a good hour. So, uh, fired up the, uh, the uh, desktop and see what's going on. Well, anyway, um, I went through a couple of videos that led me to uh, cashless uh, banking. And uh, then I put in cashless banking. And I'm going to entitle this video The Whole Planet Will Go Cashless. What do you think comes next? And you know what I'm getting at. Revelation 13, 16. And, you know, we're sounding like a broken record. And just get used to us doing more videos on the uh, the MOTB, the micro C hip, because it's definitely coming. Before Yahweh Shai came on the scene over two thousand years ago, the talk was is a Messiah coming at this time during the time of the Roman Empire because they wanted to be delivered from the Roman Empire. So when uh, John the Baptist came on the scene they thought he was the messiah and he explained to him nope I'm not the messiah he said in not too many words on the forerunner of the messiah then they asked him uh, are you elijah one of the prophets he said no and he said no because he didn't know he was elijah but he made a statement which proved that he was elijah but he didn't realize it when he made the statement was uh, how did he say it um he, he mentioned um prepare the way I'm, I'm one crying in the wilderness preparing the way for the Lord so that's a fulfillment that's Isaiah said that and uh, concerning um, concerning uh, uh, Elijah coming back so there was talk about whether whether John was Elijah coming back or another prophet or whether he was the Messiah and even our Lord when he he uh, confronted uh, the Apostle Peter. Who do they say that I am? Uh, and so the, the, the talk was, when they saw Yahweh Shai, the miracles that he did, the way he spoke, the authority that he had, they, they knew he was a special man. Oh, and they also knew that John, uh, John the Baptist was a man, a special man, a man of the Lord, because there was a question asked concerning um, uh, Yahweh asked the uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees concerning uh, John was he a man of the Most High was he you know just a man or a false prophet or whatever the case may be I'm merely paraphrasing and they spoke among themselves they said if we say that he's not a man of the Lord the people all say he's this is a man of the Lord definitely a man of the Lord And so they said they're not going to say that. And if they say he is a man of the Lord, the Lord finally said, okay, if he is a man of the Lord, why did you come against him? I'm merely paraphrasing. I'm not going to these precepts. Anyway, so there was big talk 2,000 years ago. And then before that, there were all the prophets they were all looking for this man to come that Moses spoke about in Deuteronomy chapter 18 if I'm not mistaken so they were all looking for this man they saw prophets and certain prophets came with such power that they said could this be the Messiah so during that time 2000 some odd years ago 2000 plus years ago the Messiah did come on the scene, and the forerunner for the Messiah was uh, uh, John, which was his cousin. Anytime Israel, you know, went into captivity, they they always looked and asked for a savior and called on the name of Yahweh. 
And the Most High said, I'm going to get you this time. I'm going to take the name away from you. So you don't have the key. You don't have the code. That's why it's important to call on the name of Yahweh and his, and his beloved son, Yahweh Shai. Then it speaks of the... Uh, um, the the Raka Kodash uh, Hakodash the Holy Spirit, because that's in uh, Matthew twenty eight. You know, blessing in him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's why we say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kodash, or Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Hakodash. You can say it that way too. So that's saying the Holy Spirit. So we're putting that vibration out there. Anyway, it says here, I put in cashless, cashless, cashless banking. Now, they're getting ready to introduce it inside of a couple days in Australia. I'll do some more research on Australia and banking. So it says here, this was seven months ago. So this was what, October? Yep, this is uh, this is like October. It says here, is a future banking cashless. Uh, the business, ABC News. And this is ABC News Australia. Uh, bank customers are overwhelmingly turning cards and elect electronic payment methods and Australia's banks are is that cluing in and this comes by order of the uh, the WEF the World Economic Forum headed by uh, the Timonite Klaus Schwab and if you watch those meetings you had uh, I believe he was either the CEO or the president of Nokia and they had the, the meeting a couple of years ago he said we're going to take the technology that's in the smartphone that everybody has and you're gonna, we're going to put it in your body I mean if you, can, if you Israelites cannot see this then you ain't meant to see it the most high closed Close your, if, if, and that's part of the gospel. The gospel is the whole book, the whole story. If our gospel be hit, it's hit to them at a loss. And the Most High set up these false teachers to deceive you. If you're not a, if you're not of the elect, you're going to teach that the MOTB is something other than the uh, micro C hip, or your leaders have sold out. Pick one. Either your leader, the Most High is not dealing with that person. Or he he knows that the MOTB is a micro C hip, but he refuses to teach it. That means he took the bag. And there's dudes out there that took the bag. Uh, what? Because they can't wait. They don't want to wait for the kingdom. They want it. They want it now. They want to live. Um. A, a uh, luxurious uh, life uh, now. And so what does a cashless future mean? And this was four years ago, so they've been talking about this. It says insert, uh, swipe, or present card. Now, most of my payments that I make to different bills I got to pay, most of them automatically come out of my... Uh, my bank account. I have a debit card slash credit card. Like if you go to like a BJ's or whatever, certain places you purchase stuff. Sometimes you want to cash out quick. I never go online and let the woman cash me out or the man cash me out. I always go to the South checkout because you're in and out. <laughs> you're in and out. If you get 10 things, you boop, 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 boop. You're in and out. You don't got to wait on no line. Sometimes, 
it'll give you the option to pay cash and sometimes it'll say you can only put in uh you know credit card debit card so so i said okay no take out my debit card my bank card boom uh, that's it so like i said most of my most of the things that come out of my bank account are the 90 out oh, shit 95 percent um they come out come come directly out every month every month so it says uh By the way, this is uh, RFID technology. You see that thing? Uh, RFID technology. Uh, also, in uh, Europe, is known as the N N NFC, the Near Field Communication, which means the same thing: radio frequency. Uh, you know, radio radio frequency ID. Which is in your credit cards, which venture people lose their credit cards. So everything is gonna be put in your in your body, biometrics. Like I said, I'm gonna say this again. Any Israelite that's teaching contrary to what we're teaching here at GMS from the leadership on from the apostles on down. They either the most high either blinded them that they can't see it, or they made a deal. They made a backdoor deal. They sold out. Well, who did they sell out to? I don't know. But they had to either one choose one. Choose one. So you should look at your leader and say, I don't think he sold out. But at the end of the day, he's not a man of the Lord because he would teach. Uh, what is Amos? Uh, what is that? Uh, and that you all teach the same thing. I don't know why I quoted Amos. I was thinking of, uh, you know, the uh, the Most High, give the secrets to the prophets. Uh, that you all th teach the same thing as uh, Apostle Paul, First Corinthians uh, ten. I mean, First Corinthians one and ten. Ephesians 4 started the 11 verse on down about the 14 verses so you got these guys Fopi they totally flipped everything that's been taught to them they flipped it around the 12 tribes are not really the 12 tribes they're all black none of them are Latin and now they recently said that Edomites are really black people with red hair. That it, the Edomites are really Negroes. So some of you guys are, 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 are Edomites. Taking away what? They're taking away the fact that the focus is no longer on so-called white people because they're not the Edomites. Don't worry, man, white people are just white people. They're, they're not important. You black people are the Edomites. Um... One body said that uh, the Most High, at the end of the day, he really loves Esau and he really hates Jacob. Now, you know them dudes sold out. You know them, you know they sold out. It is seven months ago, this is October, customers outrage as some stores go cashless. Australia. And see, once it goes totally cashless, then it's going to go to another country. Then it's going to sweep across the planet. Five months ago, so we're going October, November. That's December. No cash allowed. World without cash. Cashless society is closer than you think. And if you're a true prophet of the Most High, yeah, how about Shem, how shy? You, you, your, your mind will immediately take you to uh, Revelation uh, 13 and 16. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. If, you're, if your leaders of Israel is not teaching you this, they're either guilty of... They're, 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 either, they're either 
they either don't know it, which makes them not a man of the Lord, which means that the Most High is not giving them, get the Most High is not giving them his secrets, Amos 3 and 7, or he knows every, he knows, yeah, yeah, M M O T is coming definitely, that's a micro C here, but I, but I got $10 million to teach otherwise, and I don't want to wait for the kingdom, I want it now. I want to go to Dubai too. Cash of society will lead to filling the blank. Now that smartphones, and this is four, uh, four years ago, now that smartphones have become commonplace, mobile payments are replacing cash and credit cards as the preferred form of. Gotta watch the video. Ultimately, like I said, you lose your card, you, you got your cell phone, you lose your cell phone, but you got your chip. Shock, uh, shock for customers, one year ago, shock for customers as banks turn away from cash. Austral Aust Australia. So Australia is just a model. You see what they did with the Karagma, right? They were forcing the Karagma on people. They were, man, they, they, them, them, those police out there, they were beating people down. Was that Makari, I hope I'm saying that right, bank going cashless five, five, ooh, five days ago, five days ago. So I got to watch this. Austra uh, seven, 7 News Australia customers of Macare or whatever bank will no longer, will, will no longer be able to withdraw or deposit cash from, from May 20th. As part of the, as part of the, new, the move, my carrier, whatever, will Something, something, something. I'm gonna watch this after the fact. I don't want to play it. This is five. This is five days ago, folks. Nine months ago. Also, Australia. Now, if you notice, I put in cashless society. I didn't put cashless cashless banking in Australia. I didn't put Australia. I put cashless banking. It keeps all these. Uh, pop-up videos all says Australia nine months ago concerning growing for seniors as banks go cashless yeah cause older people they can't figure shit out six days ago I gotta watch this one Mac Carrier whatever bank to go completely 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 cashless in a in a shift to move fully digital what comes after that ladies and gentlemen the MOTB the MOTB the micro C hip which the term for that is uh, uh, what is it the biometrics bio meaning the body and metrics meaning measure five years ago this DW documentary which is a German base they, they do uh, uh, documentaries a very good channel based out of uh, Germany uh, matter of fact I gotta subscribe to them how cash is becoming a thing of the past DW documentary, banking documentary, and and, I, and don't be surprised if uh, they mention into uh, they mention the uh, MOTB. Okay, this is a good this is a good channel, Lena Petrova. Okay, I guess she's uh, she's uh, Russian, and she goes into the 
cash system and so forth, right? So it says, ex, ex, expect the unthinkable warning. And she just, she just did a video just now. She does videos quite frequent, frequently. Warning, 90% of banks are at risk and cashless society is inevitable. That means it's going to come whether you want it, or, want it to or not. Central Bank says. And the last video that she did, it was focusing on Australia. So what more proof do you need? Because when it actually comes to pass and you got to get the karagma, the micro C hip, the ones, the ones of you, if there's any of the elect among any of those groups, and I believe there is, they're going to like, they're going to back, they're going to back. They said, nah, we ain't, nah. they're going to question. They're going to, at least they're going to uh, 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 question. It's going to be the big thing. You're going to have to explain yourself. Bishop Nathaniel, uh, General Johanna, um, Naquam of the, of the Wi-Fi. Cause your boy, I forget your boy's name. Big, big boy. I call him big dude. I think he, he comes around. He sneaks around. He comes around. Showing respect to Bal to GMS Baltimore because he knows something. You better get with the program now, brah. Alright. So I'm, I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay to see see the look on Bishop Nate's face after they uh make this the whole world cashless. You know the, the world cashless C B D C central bank digital currencies and they've been talking about it for, the, for a lot they said they were going to do it last year two years ago or something like that it's uh when 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 um the uh rag of sea muffin came out and you you couldn't you had to wait on a long line you had to have the mask on your face you had to wait on a long ass line for about depending on how Sometimes you went to a store and said, fuck that, man. This line is like 50 people in front of me. And you had to wait for about 20, 30 minutes to get in there and, um, you know, buy your stuff. And you had to wear a mask. You had to wear a mask. And then when you went to cash out, they, they pretty much said, oh, we don't have no coins. I don't know how the coins just all of a sudden disappear. Uh, you got to put in direct dollars or you can't use dollars on this machine you got to use your credit card or your debit card banks are willing to coerce customers into cashless force the word there is force buy or sell except he didn't have the mark sky news australia so keep keep your eyes on Australia. Seven days ago, Los Angeles City Council members proposed cashless business ban. Many Los Angeles businesses trans uh, transitioned to cashless payment methods during during um, C Ragamuffin. That's a C Ragamuffin pandemic as a way of reducing blah 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 how much more proof do you need this is one day ago growing grow growing push to ban cash this business in LA uh, three LA City Council members are pushing to ban cashless business in the city Council members heated. What is this? Hut introduced. So they got. So they, you know, they playing it all. Nah, we ain't with this cash and stuff. They've been paid. Look, you're gonna act like you ain't with it, you know. And what did what did uh uh Biden say back in 2005 when um Justice Roberts was being confirmed and in uh to be the uh the chief justice of the uh United States Supreme Court 
he said, he said there'll come a time where you will rule whether people can have to get um get devices put in their foreheads or in their hands. You will rule before your ten, but during your tenure, before the end of your tenure. Mark my word. And that's when um uh this guy uh Biden was a lot younger. Yeah, he was in his right mind. He was very looked younger. Africa? It said, meet the man forging Africa's cashless future. No more paper money. No more paper money. Credit cards, debit cards. And then no more de credit cards, debit cards. You're going to have to get what's called a buy... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, biometrics. Ateo Arvios Bloomberg Originals three years ago has plans to mig migrate cash cash reliant customers in Nigeria and Ethiopia onto his brand new digital platform it's not his they gave they gave him the script they said this is what you tell the people look in the mirror and rehearse it so you can sound like you know what you're talking about but this is not his they're making it seem like Australia said oh let's go cat no no they get the they get the memo. They get the memo. Nine months ago, Australia could become totally cashless society. So they're talking about in a matter of days. Keep your eyes on Australia. Will digital payments replace cash in the USA? It's coming to the US. Custom, 10 months ago, customer uh, furious after bank doesn't offer cash withdrawal. Well, you'll get all, you'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. Then you got to get used to getting a, you know, a, a micro C hit put in you. You'll get used to it. Or you don't eat. You can't buy or sell. See, if you guy from the IUIC got out of that zombie curse, you would see it. If you if the if the Mosai took that zombie curse off of you, you would get up and leave Bishop Nate. He would have nothing. Nothing. He'd be left just him and the horse, and the two Edomite women. You're gonna find out that uh, you're gonna say, "Oh shit, GMS was always right." No cash bank custom customer. I, uh, angry after bank doesn't dispense cash. Yeah, you got to get it digitally, baby. If you don't, if you don't got a debit card, you better get one. Can Canada ever go cashless? Now I was talking about Canada. Look at that. My war with the banks as as now as now broadened. Uh, Nego uh, Farretch to fight against cashless society. They don't want, there's, a, there's like a losing fight, a losing fight. They're gonna lose that fight. And this is a a, um, a world thing, um, in the oik of many sense. The whole world is gonna go digitally, digital. The ones that don't, the prophets, the true prophets, the real prophets, the elect, some of them is gonna be put to death. Some of them are gonna get guillotined, gonna wind up in prison. Revelation two nine, uh, Pre Revelation two ten, Revelation twenty and four. Those that been be beheaded, that did not accept the uh, MOTB. It's not sin in all of its form, whether it be political or religious. Oh, I didn't even know that they were going to do this. The water. Yeah, how about Shem how shy? I didn't know. Okay, this is the same sis, uh, woman, which I'm a. I think I. I think I subscribe to her, but she does very good shows. 
Alina Petrova. She does very good shows dealing with the, uh, well, she says it. So she's an insider. She's, I believe she's Russian, Petrova, Russian. Very, very good uh, 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 YouTube page. Go and cash this. Implant the Bulls next. Go and cash this. Implant the Bulls next. Australia is going cash this. Revelation uh, 14 and 9 on down. Revelation 16. Revelation 20. The word mark as a mark of the beast. And then Armageddon comes. Look at this, South Africa and Kenya lead the way in cashless uh, banking. Ghana is gonna accept it, Uganda is gonna accept it. Even though Uganda and Ghana and Nigeria, don't, they don't wanna pass laws protecting alphabet people, they're gonna accept the MOTB. Will England become a cash society? Yes, the answer is yes. Yeah, but they broke away from the EU. So what? It's still going to become cashless. But China. So we got Africa, Australia, Great Britain, and China. What China's, three years ago, what China's new digital currency tells us about the cashless future and the whole plan is going to go cash this so you know you you know how much more evidence do you need okay let me go let me go over here I just want to put this in Bear me for a minute, and then I'm going to close. See, I didn't know what I was going to go into, but... Okay, this was something to help a brother, help a brother out. All right, let me do this. What did I say I was going to go? Oh, to, to the precepts. Let me type in... typed in MOTB and um, you got how many precepts you got one two three four five six and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the, the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What does that mean? Rewind it back to the beginning of this video. Uh, Revelation 14 and 11, you can start at 9, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of the mark of his name. Uh, Revelation 15 and 2, And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. That's us looking down on this place being destroyed. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, which are the elect, only the elect of Israel will be saved. Uh, uh, beamed up and when you look up the word saved churches say saved in the blood of Jesus I'm saved from the world of sin 
I've been saved. I'm saved. No, the saved part will come in the future. And the word saved, when you look it up, it means to be like plucked out of the fire. You know, delivered. Somebody grab you before a truck hits you. Somebody pushing you out the way. You know? And uh, so when the missiles hit the, the Lord, how shy and the angels are going to come down and beam us up. While the, we're going to see the missiles in the air and we're going to get nervous and we're going to get beamed up. And over here, and then we're, and we're not going to be in some remote place in Africa. We're going to be in the midst of our enemies. Read, read Revelation chapter 11. And over his image, the image is not Caesar Bogier. Anybody that's teaching that, it's a, a picture of Caesar Bogier is a dimwit. And over his mark, which the word is karagma, that's why you got to go into the Greek, get a better understanding of the scriptures, you got to go into the original, the Greek and or the Hebrew. And over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. Says here, if you don't take the, the, the karagma, some of you are going to get your head chopped off. So some of us will die by execution. Revelation 16 and 2, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore, a cancer upon the, upon the men which, which had the... MOTB. Oh, you committed sin. If you didn't commit sin, uh, if you commit sin, you're going to get the no. You're not going to get cancer because you commit sin. You're going to get cancer because of the device that's in your hand or in your forehead. And upon them which worship his image, the system, it's a part of the system. You're in the military, you got to get it. All branches of the military got to get the, the chip. Your doctor, a nurse, nurse's aide, uh, uh, was it uh, RN, registered nurse, um, is another one. I think it's RPN, registered practical nurse, or something like that, which is the, the highest is nurse, nurse, and then over that is a doctor. They all got to get it. The doctors, the patients, they won't be able to treat you unless you got the karagma. So you better be healthy. It says 20th verse, Revelation 19 and 20, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, technology uh, with, with which he deceived them. They had, you're going to be deceived. They had the MOTB, and them that worship his image, not no Caesar Bogier, only dummies that teach that. Only low IQ people teach that. Uh, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. It's not talking about an eternal hell for you dummies out there. It's talking about Babylon the Great on fire being hit by the missiles. Mainly from Russia. Russia possesses Almost 6,000 ICBM missiles. The, the U.S. possesses a, a little about, a little less than, than Russia. And they're not even going to be able to get them missiles off. They may shoot a couple of them, but it's going to be a sneak attack. Their God's going to be down. When they look up in the sky, they're going to realize it. The satellite's not going to pick it up. Radar is not going to pick it up because the supersonic uh, missile system, the the um, the warhead, forms a plasma a cloud a plasma cloud around it where it can't be picked up by radar. So you got to look into the sky and see, and you can say, "Oh shit! What is what is that? Oh shit! They're missiles!" And that, and before you think you you're dead, you're done, you're done. So any of you in America that took this karagma, most of you are, you're going you're gonna to stay here. When, when, when the ships come, when the chariots come, you're not going to be beamed up. 
And all of you dudes that have fallen out, guys like Yum Yum, Ramayala, uh, Payalaga, Tazadak, we call them Zombie Bond. All you guys, all you guys, I could go on and on. All you guys that turned your back and went back into the world, Yeshaya, Gazak, all you guys, Lahab, all you guys. All you guys. If the Most High don't have mercy on High Priest Arian, High Priest Shaw, they're going to take the Karagma too. So all you thousands of individuals, men and women that went back into the world, you're going to all take that Karagma and you're all going to die. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.